Math Story Subtraction with Regrouping 35 Day Goal Challenge Children, how would you feel if you achieved the goal you had set? Wow, we would be super happy. Goals establish a sense of purpose in life and assist in better focus. Setting smaller goals every day help us progress one step at a time. So, are you ready for a goal challenge? Definitely yes! We will set one goal for ourselves and work on it for the next 35 days. Let us call it 35 Day Challenge. I love gardening, so I will take the challenge of planting one flower plant every day. I want to get fitter, so I will exercise every day. I am in the habit of keeping my room messy, so I will try to keep my room tidy every day. I will try to spend less money and save it for the future. Such meaningful goals indeed! I enjoy helping others, so I will try to help more and more people. On day one, everybody is enthusiastic. They start working towards their goals. Soon, day 19 is over. Let me take a break for one day. Yeah, I will also take a break. No, you can't do this. Only a few days are left now. Come on, continue your tasks. But how, how many, many days are still left? One, two, three, four, six, seven. Oops, I missed counting some days. Can you help me, Triho? This is really very confusing. We need someone's help to count accurately. Hey, Uncle Matt's goal was to help more and more people. Let us ask for his help. To find out the remaining days, which operation should we use? Subtraction! Mr. Place Value is a digital board that has special columns called tens and ones. Let us see how this gadget helps us to find the remaining days. Since it is a 35-day challenge and 19 days are over, we need to subtract 19 from 35. Uncle Matt enters the numbers into the gadget. Soon, the gadget arranges the numbers in the tens and ones column. Oh, I know this now. We need to subtract the ones first and then the tens. So, 5 minus 9 is equal to... Ha <laughs> ha ha 5 is smaller than 9. How will you take away 9 days from 5? Triho realizes his mistake and asks Uncle Math to continue. What do we do when we usually run short on things? We borrow from our friends. Exactly. In this case, tens is one's friend. So it will borrow one tens from it. When five borrows one tens from three tens, it becomes fifteen. Wow! We can easily subtract 9 from 15 now. By subtracting 9 from 15, we get 6. Since 1 tens was borrowed, now we have only 2 tens. Subtracting 1 from 2, we get 1. Hooray! Only 16 days are left now. Sirho and Squaro are motivated now. They continue working on their goals with Sirha and Triho. It is the last day of the 35-day challenge. Unbelievable! I planted 35 plants. I saved 100 coins. My room looks so beautiful and tidy now. My stamina has increased so much now. Well done! The kids are inspired and wish to set another goal together. Kids! Today we learned about the subtraction of two-digit numbers with regrouping. Come, let's do a quick recap of subtraction with regrouping or borrowing. To find out the leftover things, we should always subtract. To subtract by regrouping, Step 1. Arrange the numbers in tens and ones column. Step 2. Subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number in any of the columns requires regrouping. Step 3. 
in the method of regrouping or borrowing, a number is borrowed from the next column on the left side. For better understanding, let's take this example. If we subtract 9 from 34, we arrange numbers according to their place value. As 9 is bigger than 4, borrow 110 from the tens column and subtract. When 4 borrows or regroups from 3 tens, it becomes 14. So, 14 minus 9 equals to 5. Since 1 tens is borrowed or regrouped from 3 tens, now we have only 2 tens. So, 2 minus 0 equals to 2. So, finally, on subtracting 9 from 34, we get 25. Isn't it so simple? No fear when I'm here. Let's discuss. What challenge did Squarrow take? Exercising day. To find the leftover days, what operation did we use? Subtraction. How many coins were collected by Treehole? 100. Coming soon, Uncle Math mobile app on Android and Apple devices. Stay tuned. Like, share and subscribe us on fun to do labs to enjoy watching more such math stories, songs and games.